Hello everyone, welcome back to Chemistry 24 into 7. In this series, we have been exploring the solution for previous year competitive exam papers. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notification. Let's see what's today's problem. So this is the problem from CSER 2023. So according to this question, here you see this substrate initially react with LDA and followed by tri bis trifluoro methane sulfonyl aniline in second step which react with palladium tetractase in the presence of lithium chloride with this organostanine which produce one product. So here you see there are four options. Let's figure out together which one is the correct option for this question. So let's see the first reaction condition which involves the use of LDA. So LDA we have already discussed a lot in our channel. If you missed that video, don't worry, you can find the link in the description box. So LDA is one of the non-nucleophilic sterically hinted strong base, which generally takes the proton from less hinted acetic site. So let's see our substrate. So this site also acetic site and this site also acetic site. However, this site is most sterically accessible. Therefore, when you use LDA, which readily takes the proton from here, which produces this corresponding kinetic enolate ion. So this kinetic enolate ion readily reacts with this trifluoromethane sulfonyl aniline. So this reagent acts as a trifluorating agent. So here you see how this is going to react with enolate ion. So now you see this O negative charge quickly attack the sulfur atom then followed by this pi electron move towards to the oxygen then followed by move towards to the sulfur which leads to cleavage of the sulfur nitrogen bond to produce this triflator product. So this is the another reagent that is called Cummins reagent which is similar to this trifluoromethane sulfonyl aniline reagent. So sometimes people use this Cummins reagent also for triflation reaction. Now I know some of you might be wondering if the oxygen in the enolate carries a negative charge and is highly electronegative, why does it react with electrophile instead of the carbon? So well let me break it down. So firstly because of oxygen is more electronegative, it holds on a negative charge more strongly than the carbon does. So this actually makes that oxygen center more nucleophilic than carbon which means it's more likely to attract and react with the electrophile like this reagent. So secondly there is a issue of steric or the spatial arrangement of atoms in the oxygen atom is more accessible because it is not crowded as in the carbon site in the enolate. So when the bulky reagent like this so comes in it find it easier to reach to the oxygen rather than this carbon nucleophilic center. So the combination of oxygen strong nucleophilicity and the easier access due to the less steric hindrance makes O triflation is favored when compared to the C triflation that means that carbon triflation. The second step which involves the use of palladium tetrakase, lithium chloride and argonostanine. Once you see this condition, most of them will get an idea about Stille cross-coupling reaction. The Stille cross-coupling reaction we have already discussed in our channel. If you missed that video, don't worry, you can find the link in the description box. So according to Stille cross-coupling reaction, initially palladium tetrakase in the presence of lithium chloride. So now oxidative addition takes place to produce this corresponding intermediate. The role of lithium chloride we have already discussed in our still a cross coupling reaction lecture. So this intermediate react with this organostanine which quickly undergo by transmetallation and followed by reductive elimination sequence to produce this corresponding product. So here you should note it down the stereochemistry of this alkene geometry. So this alkene geometry stereochemistry is trans. So this is never changed after this still a cross coupling reaction. So now you see the stereochemistry of this alkene geometry. So this one is doesn't changed after the still a cross coupling reaction. So based on our discussion among these 
four answer the correct answer for this question is answer four so that's it for today's problem if you enjoyed this video just to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe for more engaging content like this and finally thanks for watching bye bye